Today, I am going to show you how to rip your 4K Blu-ray discs because the world does not want us to do it and so we do it anyway. Because we have our own media like this, I like buying the physical copies. Why? Because it's the best possible viewing experience. High bit rate, great sound. I like uh, the movies, you know, this one doesn't sport Dolby Atmos, but the ones that do have Dolby Atmos, I enjoy having the Dolby Atmos on my system. So that's why I buy these discs and that's probably why, I mean, maybe some of you buy them still or you just have a large collection. But in any case, we need to rip these 4K discs and get the files from them, the movie file, onto the computer. Now the only issue with that is that there is not a player or a reader that reads 4K discs for a PC. You can buy a player for a TV, but just a disk drive for your PC, none of them read 4K discs. So what we have to do is we have to hack a disk drive to be able to read these discs. Now they do that on purpose so that we can't watch these except on the designated players. But so we'll be doing this with the Ten Commandments, obviously. Great film, classic, and uh, I'm really glad. I like these old films when they rescan them and then put them in the 4K. That's that's awesome because then you get to see them in more of a, the format that they were intended for on the screen. Like if you went to theaters and saw it back in the day, it's more close to, to how that would have been. So we're going to use this. But to get started, we're going to do a couple of things here. we got to get a disk drive first. So I'm going to show you what disk drive I got, okay? LG Electronics WH16NS40. Now, it's important you get this one. I mean, there's some other ones that you could get, but this one's honestly the easiest one to work with, in my opinion, of what I've seen. There's some more expensive ones, but this one's cheap. I even went down here and bought the Save With Used the very good section Amazon, and I got it for a little bit of a discount. Now, if you have a disk drive port, or like a bay, a drive bay in your computer, great, you just pop it in. That's what I do, I have a drive bay in my computer. But most people don't these days, so you have to buy either one with this case that you can plug in, the SATA case, the enclosure. You can buy a different brand than this. This isn't the only one, of course, the SATA enclosure. So it just goes in there and then it just plugs USB into your computer. Or this one that's not an enclosure, it just plugs into the back of the drive there and then USB into your computer. So you gotta get one of these, okay? Pop it in your computer. Okay, next thing you gotta do. So once you download Make MKV, you can open it up, okay? And we're going to, I have two disk drives in my thing, so I'm gonna select the one that I just showed you, the Amazon one. So it's gonna come with the firmware version 1.05. So the thing with 1.05 is it's an encrypted firmware. So it makes things a little bit more difficult for us. So I'm gonna pop this disc in, the 10 commandments, and you'll see that the Windows or Make MKV is not ever going to recognize that disc drive or that disc because it's a triple layer, you know, 4K disc, whereas regular Blu-rays are like two layer DVDs, one layer, right? So it won't understand, spin and spin. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put the hacked firmware onto the disk drive. Okay, I'm just gonna eject this now because we're not gonna get anywhere, it's just gonna spin forever. <clears throat> we're gonna put it back in the case because we definitely don't wanna scratch our 4K discs because any little scratch on a 4K disc will ruin it. Okay, so close the tray. Now I will link in the description this folder. I just called it disk drive stuff. This is different things that I found on the internet that I had to use to figure out. So the version, the hacked version of the firmware for the disk drive is 1.02. Problem is we're at 1.05, okay? So we need SDF tool flasher. So go ahead and download that, open it up, select your drive at the top. And this is the 1.05, is that the disk drive? Now what you'll see is actually this will be checked on yours. The problem with the encrypted firmware is it makes it so you can't downgrade your firmware to the 1.02, which is what we need. We need the hacked version of 1.02. So the disk drive sees that you're trying to rewrite it and it goes, oh, no, that's a downgrade. We're gonna stop that, okay? So it won't let you when it's encrypted. Is we have to load first a version of 1.05 that is unencrypted onto the drive. So we gotta flash that firmware on. So we'll go in, I'm gonna show you it's gonna be this MK firmware pack. Click on that, okay, HLDTST, and then go down to the disk drive. It's WH16NS40-NS50. Go in that one, 
and there'll be one file, bin file in there. We're gonna wanna write from the 1.05 encrypted to the 1.05 unencrypted. So hit start, it's gonna flash, and it doesn't take very long. Okay, done, so now we click on it, you should see 1.05 here, and then you should see the unencrypted from there, and it should be an X, that it is not encrypted anymore. So now the good news is, is we can now downgrade to the 1.02 version, which is the hacked version that will read the 4K disk. So we're gonna go into that, back to this, you're gonna go into the all you need firmware pack. This is by Marty McNutts. He's big into this disk ripping stuff. He's the one that made this firmware and he's in all the forums. Okay, so we'll go in here, uh, internal desktop drives. Now we're gonna go into the WH16NS40-NS50, okay? 1.02, this is the hacked version in the Marty McNutts folder. Open that, okay? Okay, start. Flashing the new firmware on. Just make sure it stays power. Done. Please wait. Okay, let's uh, double check. Okay, 1.02, we downgraded. 1.02. That's what we want, we're on. So now, all you have to do is pop the disk in again, which I'm gonna do. But you wanna make sure the disk drive doesn't have a disk in it when you rewrite the firmware because you'll keep getting an error message if you do have a disk in there, so make sure it's empty. Pop in 4K 10 Commandments disk and wait for it to load. While it's loading, let's go through a few uh, settings on here. So preferences and make MKV, okay? So you can default directory. I put it on my G drive because that's where I have just, it's just an extra drive, not on my quest. I put my retry count to 32. You can up it or whatever. I put mine at that because I felt like I had good luck with that. Mine was lower, the default, when I first installed make MKV and then there were some disks that were having problems so I upped that retry count and that, that fixed those problems. Preferred language, you can do English or whatever language you want. If it, it's, it, I think the default is on none, but if you put it on English, then I'll show you what that does in just a second. Okay, we don't need any of that. Check these boxes here. That just allows Windows to use MKV. If you just wanna pop them in, it'll decrypt them and it will just go straight to the file. You don't have to go through all the menus and everything like that or have some special Blu-ray program to do it. Make MKV will do that for Windows and for VLC, that's what I found is the best way to do it. Just watch it through VLC. You can apply and hit okay. It's still loading. It shouldn't take this long to load. Sometimes if they don't load, sometimes you just gotta close it and then reopen it, I found. And now my disk drive is stuck, which this does happen. So I'm glad to bring this up. Sometimes the disk drive gets stuck like this and it won't load. And the light you can see on it is just a solid blue. It won't eject. It won't anything like that, okay? So what you do in this situation is you just have to basically restart your computer. Restart your computer and then go through the flashing process again and reflash that Marty McNutt's 1.02 firmware onto the drive and it will start working again. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now. I probably will have to stop this recording on here. So we're going to close all. Stop OBS. Okay, I'm going to restart my PC because that disk drive needs a power cycle in order for it to work. So we're just gonna fast forward and go back to when my PC is rebooted. All right, we're back at it again. So make sure you eject the disk after it's restarted before you open up MKV, make MKV. Okay, disk is out. We open up make MKV. Okay, it loads the disk drive. Make sure, okay, we still got 1.02. Okay, now let's put the disk in this time. Let's see if it, well, you know what? We're gonna reflash it. So we're gonna close out of that. We're gonna go back to our SGF flashing tool and we're gonna reflash just to make sure, because since we had an issue last time, that it is going to work and that there wasn't an issue there. Because sometimes I found after a while of using the disk drive of ripping disks, it will start to have issues. And every time I come back and just do the reflash the firmware again, it fixes it. So NS4, okay. And rewrite the flash on there, flash it on there. Okay, done. Let's see if that on that work. Looks good. It's reading correctly. Exit that program. Open up MKV again. Boom. Okay, we're in. Let's put our 4K disk back in the drive. Let's see if it works this time. So I'm glad that happened because it is something that happens occasionally. And so just need to troubleshoot. Most of the times on that first go, it will work. So, all right. 
slot this read. Disk drive makes sounds because it's a cheap disk drive. It is having a hard time again. And it's not working again. So just drive is stuck again. So we'll have to cut power. Now this, you only have to restart your computer if the disk drive is in installed into your computer. You could just unplug the USB cable to power cycle it obviously if it's not. So we're gonna have to recycle this again. Or, you know what, I'm just gonna open up the side of my PC case and we're just gonna unplug the power cable from it. Not from the PC, from the disk drive. Creative solutions. So don't want to restart again. So here we are, power, it's that one. Be careful not to touch anything else inside. Okay, it's back on. All right, power cycled. Ejected. Kaboom. Okay, what we're gonna do this time to fix it is we're going to go back into the, what's it called? The STF tool flasher. We're gonna go choose that. And we are going to write the regular firmware back onto it. The unencrypted regular firmware. Open flashing. Okay, it's done. Let's open MK, make MKV. Okay, it's at 1.05. Now let us downgrade it again. Back down to Marty Big Firmware Pack. So WH16 NS40. Okay, open, flashing, reflashing. So a lot of YouTube videos will just show you how to do it, but they don't show any of the troubleshooting process that is going on during it which is super annoying because there's always something that goes wrong and it's like, what happened? So anyway, we're going through this. Okay, now we're in, now we are in. Should we take a chance on this 4K disc again and hopefully it works. Okay, while this is loading, oh no, wait, it's working. Windows has now recognized it and we are back in business. I'm shaking the camera as I'm doing it because I'm on the desk. Awesome. Okay, so here we are making MKV. So what if you're in it make MKV and at some point it asks for a product key and it goes, hey, you're uh, you need product key. Well, all you, you go to the web, you go well, make MKV product key search and it goes make MKV is free while in beta. You click on that. Oh look, here's the product key. It's always in beta. So copy that product key, paste it in and make MKV will then work for you, the full version. So now we go to open disk, the 10 commandments. This is gonna break the encryption on the disk and open up so we can view the files on the disk, bypassing all that stupid menu crap and all that. This disk is actually pretty simple. There's not a whole lot on it. Other disks will have a lot. And it is opening up. All right, here we go. You can see we have two files on here. We have the 91.4 gigabytes. They're both the same. I want the one with the chapters, so we're gonna leave that one. So you know how I said in the preferences, if you go to language and preferred language English, well, then when right here, it unchecks all the other languages and only leaves the English checked for your audio and captions. So I like that because I don't want to go through and unclick all these checkboxes every single time. So I leave that as just the English preferred. So as you can see, this is our DTS surround 5.1 English. That's gonna be our main audio channel for this. And we're going to click, we're gonna make sure that's all good. Okay, that's what we want. Then we can set our output folder. Mine's in my D drive in video, the 10 commandments and hit make MKV. And for these 4K disks, it takes a while to copy that 90 gigabytes off of the disk drive. So once it's done, which I've already copied this disk, and as you can see, you can open it. Will, my computer is very old, so it will not play back smoothly, but the film is there and uh, J and you can see that it worked. So there you go. That my friends is how you rip 4K discs and downgrade your uh, firmware. My other video that I'll be putting up is about playing back these video files. Like for example, like Dolby Atmos audio format, like playing that back. How do you get that on your TV, on your sound system and get that to work so you have the overhead audio on those Dolby Atmos and those extra channels and that sort of thing. So that's gonna be my next video is playback in my system, what I use and my setup. It's actually behind me here, but we'll get to that another time. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, hopefully it helps someone. Good luck out there. This is the end.